Today on Newsbreak, we'll take a look at world news. We'll also have results from tennis, golf, and soccer from last night. All this and more on this Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. Good afternoon, SHS. I'm Carson Chang. And I'm Max Arms. Let's take a look at today's news. Class officer elections are tomorrow. Be sure to check your email for the ballot and make sure you vote. Class representatives will give their speeches on Wednesday, May 9th, with the vote to follow on Thursday, May 10th. Forms for the elections are available in the office. If you're attending after prom, gather a team of six people and sign up to play blacklight volleyball and blacklight dodgeball. Sign up sheets in the office through tomorrow. Prize will be awarded for the team with the most creative name. Football cheerleading trials will take place next Tuesday, May 8th at 4 p.m. in the black box. Participants are required to do at least one cheer and two different jumps. If you have any questions, please contact Jessica Sandy at jisandy at uni.edu. Due to student council speeches today, Key Club will be held tomorrow during common time. Now let's take a look at today's weather. Take a look at your weather for today and the next few days. We have mostly cloudy skies today, high of 62, a low of 46. We could see winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. As for tomorrow, thunderstorms will move in back again. High of, high of 64, a low of 45, looking at winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. And those thunderstorms will definitely occur later in the afternoon, but we could also see some in the morning. As for Friday, mostly sunny skies. We could see a few clouds in the afternoon. High of 74, a low of 49, and winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. But for now, back to you guys. Taking a look at sports for today. In boys golf from last night, the Indians got a 160 to 164 win over Esterville. Meet medalist honors went to Jack Laven, who shot a 37. Cameron Dow got runner up with a 37. Other counting scores for Spirit Lake were Mason Weeks with a 41 and Ryers Donkus Lute with a 44. Coach Kirshner commented this was a terrific meet for Spirit Lake tonight. It was the lowest score our team has recorded in a few years. Also, it was the personal best scores from Jackson, Cameron, and Ryer this year. Last night, girls golf played Esterville at the Okaboji Butte Golf Course. Spirit Lake won with an overall score of 234. Esterville finished with an overall score of 268. Marissa Weeks was the meet medalist with a score of 45, and Mikai Craner finished with a 51. Jordan Teffer shot a 52. Congratulations, girls golf, for their win. Yesterday, SLO Girls Tennis hosted Esterville Lincoln Central. SLO beat ELC with a score of 7-2. In singles, Ashley Thorne had an easy win of 10-1. Lauren Goff took the win 10-4, as did Ann Ashman. As for doubles, Izzy Backus and Marta Garcia easily took the win 10-2, and Ashman and Thorne beat the competition 10-4. On the boys' side, Spirit Lake defeated ELC 7-2. In singles, Kyler Olsen, Carson Rodriguez, Ben Newman, Drew Hickerson, and Nate Cornwell all got wins. In doubles, Cornwall, Hickerson, and Rodriguez all got wins on their matches. Number one doubles match with Olsen and Newman did not get finished due to the stormy weather last night. The boys soccer team faced Spencer last night and lost the match 2-0 to to the Tigers. The like the sports for today. Back to you guys. Now let's send it over to Grace with World News. Today on World News, India's capital New Delhi is becoming increasingly polluted. According to studies from 2010 to 2016, India has a population of over 14 million people. Cairo is the second most polluted city, with Mumbai and Beijing also on the list. Micro and macro pollution is becoming a bigger issue in these places, and consumption of renewable energy is helping improve air quality. China specifically is implementing renewable energy in place of unsafe cooking practices with coal. And the World Health Organization's head of public health commented, we would be very happy if we would see a similar movement in India, which is one of the countries for which we are particularly concerned. Although there are good initiatives which can be put in place quickly, still the levels are very high and we would like to see a similar decision in leadership. That is a look at World News. Back to you guys. That is all the time we have for today, SLHS. We'll see you next time.